All right, out here at the property today, I'm going to get some things done around here. And um, you say, wow, is that the new hat? Uh, no. <laughs> um, checked out the one website, Zazzle.com, and they have different hats that you can design and make and whatever else. And um, I thought before I start going into some kind of a thing of getting hats out there for people, I thought I'll make one. See what kind of quality it is and uh I didn't, they didn't really say where the hats were made or anything made in bangladesh so there's problem number one it's not china but it's not exactly american made and i know a lot of you requested american made items hats and shirts and whatever um so that part's unfortunate but the other issue is this hat does not fit at all might look like it does but it does not um it has the, of course, the ministry website up here and then on the side here, you know, and everything. So that's okay. I designed it that way. But um, this thing, it's really tight in here and here, and it has nothing to do with the adjustment in the back there. I mean, it's just, it's painfully tight, you know, and part of that is because I have a very large head, <laughs> always had a big head. Um, my motorcycle helmet size is 3XL, and uh, so a very large head. Kind of a funny story, when I was a little boy, went to the doctor the one time, and the doctor said, he was helping me get my shirt up over my head. I was a real quiet boy, didn't talk a whole lot. And um, so he was helping me up with my shirt up over my head, and he said, my, he said, you have a big head, young man. And I said, you have a bigger head. <laughs> So, uh, he laughed about that, but I know my mother would tell that story different times, but always had a big head. So that could be part of it, but I have other hats that are, you know, one size fits all type of thing, and they don't fit this tight on my head. So the hat is a no-go. I will not be going and getting these types of hats made for people. I can't even wear it for long. It starts to give me a headache. Um, I don't really care for the distressed pre-distressed look on a hat um, I'm able to do that myself just with living out here in the countryside I don't really need help wearing out my hats uh, you know <laughs> I've always thought that, that was such a dumb thing you know you buy you buy jeans that are have holes ripped in them already you know because uh, I guess you're not you don't work hard enough for something to rip them in yourself so you have to get somebody else to do it at the factory uh, you know my system of clothing is I buy a nice new pair of jeans or whatever, a hat or something, and then I use it, you know, as my dress up clothes when I go to town. And then, you know, after a little while they start getting older and I'll kind of let them go and be sort of light duty work clothes. And then when they start to get all frayed and ripped up like this, then they become actual work clothes. So uh, to buy it this way, frayed, you know, I wanted kind of a, a green type of, like a um, earthy type of collar or whatever else for people like me that, you know, we go out into the wilderness areas and I don't want some real bright, colorful hat on my head. Uh, so, uh, it's a fail. Um, Zazzle.com. This is the hat, by the way, that was supposed to be coming and I, I said in another video about it never came. Well, it finally came. After I went into the post office and complained about it, the hat mysteriously showed up. The box showed up in my, uh, you know, the parcel locker. <clears throat> so, no idea what was going on there, but could be somebody got it and they brought it in or whatever else. If so, and you were praying for that, well then thank you for your prayers. But I have no idea what happened there. But um, I don't like the hat. It's too tight. It just does not feel right on my head. Uh, so I cannot, you know, sell these kind of hats. Um, so I'm going to need to find a different website or something that would make hats that are good. Uh, so back to the drawing board on that. Um, so I'm going to head back to uh, this one area sort of a spring that's back on our property 
walking back to that here to see how things are looking. I'm going to do a few videos as I'm walking. But we will keep people posted on the shirts and hats and bumper stickers and all that other stuff. We've been working on a, a logo for the ministry. It's in production right now. Um, whatever you want to call it, it's a it's going to be basically a seal, like a wax seal with KJV on it, and then King James Radio Ministries uh, to the side of it or underneath. There's a couple different things that will work. Um, so we'll try to get that done. But um, I'm going to take this thing off before it gives me a headache. And uh, I'll be right back with you. All right, we'll continue here. Uh, I have my old leather hat on here. This one I bought back in high school, back in 1994, my graduating year of high school. I still have the hat, and it's a uh, Henschel Hat Company USA. I don't know if you can see that in there. It'll adjust the, the brightness of it. And it's an extra large. You know, back when the sizing actually seemed more logical, back when people would size things, you know, before the uh, communist Chinese decided to mess up all of our sizing charts. Um, some of the weirdest sizes out there. I have boots and shoes that are anywhere from size nine to size 12, and they all fit the same. So, really weird to climb over this downed tree. And uh, used to have this whole trail here. You can kind of see behind me. Going back through it was really nice and had all opened up and everything else but you get haven't been able to get out here much this year because it's been raining so much I mean, we've just gotten so much rain it's ridiculous um but i haven't been able to be out here and trimming this brush cutting it and everything else so well brush cutting it in the sense of with a trimmer i don't i don't have a tractor with a bush hog thing on it maybe someday i'll get that a little grown up here right now Going through the uh, red raspberry plants and the goldenrod. But um, anyhow, so just a real quick little video here to update people on the hat shirt idea. And uh, little black cap chickadees here all around me. And um, see if I can get one on, on video. There's one, but he just took off. I don't know if you can see him in the, in the tree there. I'm in the, the sacred grounds of the black capped chickadees, apparently. They're all over the place here. Let me spin around here real slow. I don't know if you can see them. Oh, now they all went over here to my right. Come on, guys, stay still so I can get you. Ah. There's one up there. Ah, every time I go to zoom in. Well, anyhow. Hopefully you get the idea. Um, my eldest brother taught me that thing that you just make that noise up like that, and it makes the birds get curious. And they, you know, what's going on? They'll fly over and what the uh, shooting birds with a camera, uh, little birds like that, not easy. As soon as they land, you think, okay, I can zoom in and get my shot here, and whoop, they go. So. Uh, great to see the little birds. I like little birds like that. Um, friendly little guys. More high weeds to go through here. I'm forging my way back through. But um, just uh, interesting to see what all is going on in Israel. And um, just remember that the Jews, uh, as pertaining 
to the gospel, they are enemies for our sakes. They are against Jesus Christ. They have rejected Jesus as their Messiah, and they're going to hell for that. There's no automatic salvation just because they're Jews. Anyone who rejects Jesus Christ goes to hell. Remember that. But, as touching the election, they are beloved for their father's sakes. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God made a covenant, and he will not break that covenant. So don't fall for the anti-Semitic stuff, please. And don't post that junk on my channel, because I hate it. it makes me very angry. Um, so, but uh, pray for the people over there in Israel, the saved brethren, of course. Uh, very much so. Um, very important to do that. Pray for their protection. But the uh, Palestinians, Palestinians, you know, they are the children of the bondwoman. And they will not be heir to that land over there. They just won't be. So uh, they're going to be cast out. And that's happening right now. The um, forced evacuation and then the Israeli troops coming in. They're not going to be giving that land back. And they shouldn't. Because you see, if you believe the Bible, then you know it's their land. And you say, well, there's you know Jews that aren't really Jews. and Yeah, sure. But you know what? God's still going to use them for his purposes. Because that's how the Lord works. See, either you believe that God is only half in control, or you believe that God is whole and wholly in control and can tell anybody what to do and fulfill his purposes. That's what I believe. I don't believe that uh, God controls the heavens and, and the saved people and the devil controls the rest or something. No, the devil is only there to take orders from God. And uh, when you have evil people, that's when the devil can take over and make bad things happen. So... Not starting to rain. 30% chance of rain, I guess, just became a lot higher of a percentage. <laughs> so, but uh, if you ever wonder where we, where our bathroom facilities are out here on our property, I'll show you. I'll show you our toilet. You can see right there it is. It fell over again. Probably the moose used it again, but uh, just a shame there. Um, could be the, you know, sewer got clogged as well or something, but uh, yeah, there it is right there that way so <laughs> that's going to be it we'll see you in the next video